Hey guys, it's Wednesday, February 7th, uh, 2024. And today's gonna be 11 minutes of Navy SEALs, nasal breathing. Um, just gonna cruise through, see what I get, whatever I get, whatever I get. I'm gonna do some pull-ups, and depending on how everything feels after my Navy SEALs, I might superset my pull-ups with um, dips. So it's maybe two sets of five pull-ups, and then maybe two sets of five dips. Nice and easy. Maybe um, go on the single with both dip and pull-up. I'm working with 12 and a half pounds right now. Um, hopefully, again, I'm working my way up to 20 plus, 22 and a half, 25. We'll see. So let's dive right in. Again, it's just 11 minutes nasal breathing. I'm gonna work with about five reps a minute. Maybe save up some time.
Alright guys, one rep. This is for Brian Lane, Paradox. So that's a stomach strike for you guys. Definitely some a build up of air hunger. <clears throat> air hunger doesn't um, necessarily mean that you had a breath, it means that you're starting to feel that um, hunger for extra oxygen. You're getting into that um, oxygen deficit, the carbon dioxide's building up a bit. Um, you get that urge to breathe in through the mouth to get in some extra uh, air. Take an extra deeper, fuller breath using your mouth. But as you refrain, <coughs> it just keeps building up. But at the same time, you manage to learn to utilize the oxygen that you're taking in more efficiently, more effectively, as well as to mitigate the um, body's dispersal of carbon dioxide. So again, nasal breathing is akin to <coughs> training at altitude. I'm often asked, um, is it benefiting your regular numbers? I have no idea. The last time, about two weeks ago, I did a six count session and it was about the same as it was before I started doing this, which is no small thing considering that, um, in my opinion, six, six counts are a skill. Let's bring this closer up here, guys. Show off the pull-ups. Not really show off, as there's nothing really, um, nothing really special about my pull-ups. Um, I think six counts are a skill, uh, a skill set on their own, and that if you don't practice them, you lose a little bit of the edge with them because of that. So the fact that I could hold that is pretty good. You practice, you practice nasal breathing training for the sake of nasal breathing training, for the health benefits, for the emotional benefit, because you are increasing the amount of uh, nitrous oxide that your body naturally produces, Nitrous oxide helps with the natural production of testosterone, as well as uh, human growth hormone, as well as lowering blood pressure, lowering the heart rate. So the benefits are for the benefits. They're not for anything extra added on, such as more reps. Having said that, I suspect that if I gave a week, two weeks of uh, training, regular breathing, getting the um, countdown back again, getting that form, there would be some increase. I don't know for certain though. I'm not really that interested in finding out anymore right now. Keep it fairly easy. Take about 30 seconds here. 30 seconds ish. So for me, it's very similar to the question I asked. A lot of my friends in the um, non duality 
uh, Advaita um, non-duality circles will not so much ask as make statements that you know your meditation practice doesn't lead to awakening or things along the lines yoga um, doesn't lead to awakening or enlightenment or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I meditate and I do yoga to meditate and to do yoga. It's what I'm drawn to do. It's what I enjoy doing. It's what I absolutely love to do. Uh, anything that comes after is just a bonus. Just sets of five. definitely seem that we live in the age of uh, immediate gratification that you do something and everything needs to be revealed instantly what it is what it does why it does this why it does that um, instead of just allowing things to be its own practice for the sake of practicing not for the sake of what comes from that practice. Now, of course, we all like to get benefits. Um, I can tell you that my life has literally been transformed through the practice of uh, yoga and meditation from things that were extremely destructive for me simply dropping away. I know everyone likes to point at the uh, causality. Is there, can you trace the direct cause um, of these happening back to meditation or yoga. Not in a scientific way, but in the way that as my practice deepened, as I committed to certain things, um, the changes were more dramatic and happened in a quicker way. Maybe that would have happened anyway. But my enjoyment of how it all unfolded, that's what really seemed to matter to me. And in the end, that's what counts. seconds. Gives me a chance to drink some more water. I like those 11 minute sets. Um, I pushed myself a little harder than I have in a while on my Navy SEALs. I think I got um, 56 reps in 11 minutes. It was, um, I think the first five minutes or so, maybe less, uh, I worked with trying to regain that explosiveness uh, and catching my breath in a quick period of time and then diving back in. It's hard to maintain with the nasal breathing for any great length of time because you don't fully, again, you don't fully recover. However, that does get better. It's, it was better today than it has been, which is why I pushed a little bit harder. Six and six. We're going to do one more with a twelve and a half.
Just one wrap. tempted to keep going for both of these, but right now, as I'm working up, and today was sort of going to be a recovery, sort of, um, no sense, no sense in having to do that. So, um, let's do quick breath reset. We're going to do four deep, three part yogic breaths. Remember the yogic breath is, um, breathing in, belly expands, ribcage expands from the side. We're breathing into the clavicles. Then we release the breath always through the nose belly, chest, clavicles. It's one full yoga breath. We're going to do four of them. Hands are going to be in the chin mudra on our lap. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. together. Just a quick reset of the breath. Getting a little extra oxygen after getting into that um, breath hunger and oxygen debt earlier. Resetting my breathing pattern um, and relaxing. Getting set for the recovery that comes after we work out. As well, um, I did want to mention the additional uh, stomach strike that I threw in there. I don't, uh, I do strike my stomach. I don't make a big uh, emphasis of it. No particular reason. Um, I like throwing it in because it reminds me to um, engage my core. It's how I learned how to do it. Um, when I started doing the high rep burpees versus the um, old fashioned football burpees, wrestling burpees that I used to do. Um, and then the sort of uh, CrossFit-ish burpees um, a couple of decades ago. But when I started studying how the burpee greats were doing it, um, they emphasized the stomach strike and they explained why. This is why you do it. Uh, it made sense to me. I did it. Again, it wasn't something that I uh, thought about one way or the other. It's just something that you do. Everyone has their own unique burpee style dependent upon the body and condition that they have each day they show up for. Uh, some people are flawless. Some people look really, really good. Um, others, like me, I got some flaws. I got some pretty glaring, obvious flaws because my body has some issues. Um, two more months, I'm going to be 59. I got a bum shoulder. I got a back that's been hurting for a few months. I got arthritis in my knee. I got a misaligned jaw that gives me all kinds of problems. Um, and I got some hard miles under me, you know, I spent a, 10 years doing an ultra to two ultras every single month. Um, not to mention tons of 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathons, all for training purposes. Um, before that I was doing kettlebell training and then Olympic lifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding, along with a host of things just for fun. Um, through my life, judo, uh, other forms of martial arts, never mastering any, but enjoying everything that I did. I'm not saying any of that to 
boast about my accomplishments. I have no real great accomplishments. Um, but just to say that, you know, my body's banged up. My burpees are gonna look like a 50, almost 59 year old guy with a banged up body. Um, I don't need anyone telling me, hey, your burpees look like you're banged up. There's nothing to matter with telling me that. It's that I already know. Um, I experience it. And I appreciate the concern to validate my experience, but I don't need it. However, um, I have friends like uh, Duncan Walsh and others who offer me some great, great advice on all kinds of stuff. They understand where my form is. So they don't really, it's not really talk so much about that as it is, hey, this might help your shoulder. Hey, this might help your back. Those are important and valued comments. Um, I don't get it as much as I get some. I don't get it as much as others. I do get it about my uh, writing that I share in my shorts. Um, lots of people like to tell me that it's not like that at all, which is true for them. And again, that's valid. I only write and share what's true to me in the moment that I wrote it. Sometimes it's completely other by the time I get around to reading it or a day later or a moment after I write it. That's just life. Nothing's set in stone. Not even a stone, if that makes sense. A stone is a vibrating field of energy at a slower rate, so it appears to be solid, but it isn't. Nothing is ever the same as it was just a moment ago. Absolutely nothing. So don't hold anyone to that. Relax and give people a break. Um, Brian Lane, when I look at his burpees, his rocking chair burpees, his stomach strike, absolutely flawless. It's a uh, young man who has battled his demons and put them aside and is focusing on a bright, bright future. And that future includes helping people, inspiring people. Man, applaud that. Salute. Big salute. Um, I look at uh, Paradox and his stomach strike, and it's pure intensity. This is another guy. I don't know Paradox's story. Why would I assume to know it? As a matter of fact, I don't need to know. What I know is that he's another guy. He's putting things out there to inspire people, that he's sharing his passion and what he loves to do from his music, from his appreciation for music, to with burpees, all of that. Not to mention his uh, support for the whole entire burpee community. Again, all that's to be applauded. When you look at someone putting it out there, fearless in their sharing, no matter what flaws they got out there, um, and offer a salute, you know, join in, help them out, help yourself out, because you're always better off by engaging in the things that really inspire, motivate, and help others than you are trying to tear that down. So, with that said, guys, we'll close the message. Uh, thanks for joining, and I will see everyone later today. Take care.